Hey, so a while ago, I was actually in a Deftones music video for their song, Romantic Dreams. I had a really fun time working on that project, so I thought today we'd sit down here together, watch the music video together, and I could tell you guys a little bit about it. And I actually get asked about this project a lot, like how I got to be involved with it, all of that. So thought I'd make a little video. I can give you a little background before we watch the video together. So as many of you might know, I was born and raised here in Hawaii, and I lived here up until around 2012, I think, 2000. 2013. That's when I moved to LA to pursue skating and that whole thing. And this music video was actually the first big project that I was able to be a part of when I moved to LA. It happened really soon after I moved there actually. And here's how it happened. So my good friend Brett Novak hit me up. And if you don't know who that is, he filmed this other video part that we worked on together called Forever My Home. I'll put a link to that below if you want to check that out because that was also a really fun project to work on. But anyway, I just moved to LA and Brett hit me up asking if I wanted to be part of a music video. And you know, I just moved there, I was down for any project and a music video sounded really fun obviously, so I told him why not. So he told me that the video was a project for the band Deftones. And weird to admit this, but actually at the time, I did not know who they were. Well, I had heard their name, but I wasn't familiar with any of their music. So it's funny, I looked them up briefly and the entire time we filmed the video, I didn't know much about them. And it was only after we finished filming this project that I got more into their music. And now I love them. I think they're awesome. I love their music. It's just kind of weird that at the time I wasn't familiar with them. Turns out they're a huge band. They're incredibly famous worldwide. And honestly, I can see why their music is amazing. And so if you haven't seen the music video for Romantic Dreams that we're about to watch together, it's basically just me skating the entire video, Brett's filming me, and the entire video was filmed around downtown LA, which is where I was living at the time. And how we filmed for it was actually, Brett would just come over and meet me where I was living. Then we just go outside at night and film. We just go skate around, look for spots and kind of film whatever. A lot of the skating was just improv. Brett would tell me, hey, just skate down the street and do a bunch of tricks. And I would just do whatever tricks that came to my weird little brain and I forget how many nights it took for us to film this. It was either two or three nights, I believe. And I think that's one of the reasons why it was so fun because there was just no pressure. We went out and skated. We were just having fun, searching for spots, finding things and thinking, oh, I could probably do a trick on that. Let's try and get a trick on that. And I know it might seem a little strange that a band's music video is entirely skateboarding without the band or anything, but that's actually what the band wanted. So in a Deftones interview, they actually talk about this music video and how that's the exact image that they wanted. It says here, Deftones may not appear in the video for the new single Romantic Dreams, but their stamp is still all over the clip. The video serves as both a showcase for the new song and for the skateboarding prowess of Jason Park. They're so sweet. It should come as no surprise that the band chose this theme as frontman Chino Moreno and other members of the group have been avid skateboarders over the years. So already it makes a lot of sense. And I always thought that was so awesome that the band is not only into skating, but were actually skaters themselves. I think that's so cool. It doesn't really get any better than that, does it? Moreno said, when we started this record cycle, we decided that we didn't want to make any videos whatsoever. They're not much fun to make and they usually turn out pretty corny. But this was an idea that we were interested in because we're all very keen skateboarders and we like the idea of marrying one of our songs to someone as talented as Jason Park. It's just really crazy to hear that. It means a lot, honestly. The frontman praised Park's skills and added that it was important to have the sounds of his actual skateboarding incorporated in the clip alongside the band's music to give the video a more artistic feel. And while the Deftones members don't make an appearance in the clip, you can note their presence in a few billboards spotted in the background of Park's skating. And I'll point that out when it happens in the music video itself, but that was actually Brett and his editing magic. He edited a lot of the billboards to be Deftones billboards. So yeah, I know that the band was actually really happy with the video when it came out and that makes me super happy and while I haven't personally met any of the members of the band myself they all seem super nice really really awesome humans so yeah I couldn't be happier to have been a part of something with people such as them Let's watch the video. All right, so obviously the song is copyrighted. We're not gonna be able to watch it together with the music. So you can go and watch the full video yourself with the music. Obviously the song's the most important part, so you're gonna wanna hear that. But for now, let's just watch the video and I can kind of talk about what's going on. We're just gonna wing it here. All right, and here we go, let's begin. Starts off black and revealing a classic LA sunset. Got a bunch of air pollution giving us those nice colors. And yeah, this is bringing back a lot of memories because 
this is where I live. There's me. There's little old me scampering around, doing a little revert. Again, a lot. these aren't like crazy tricks. It was just cruising around downtown LA, just having fun. Little power slide there, pushing. I think I got that long sleeve from Old Navy. It was either, yeah, I think it was like a generic Old Navy long sleeve and I wore it a lot. Another tray flip, one of my favorite tricks. Little wall ride on the barrier. And it's funny because when I lived here, these streets were where me and my friends would go skate all the time, like almost every night. We'd meet up at my place, we'd go skate around, just do wall rides, bomb the hills, and that's what we did for fun at night, besides playing Super Smash together all the time. Nice little shot from Brett, a trick that I did not execute very well. And this brick bank spot was so cool, I, it's gone now. Little hard flip back tail fakie on a really fun ledge up the street, kick flip up the curb, back three, back more than a 360, like a 450. Push shove on the wall, car wash banks, super fun spot. Spinning around like a little Asian Beyblade, bouncing my board off the walls. That spot I think is not skatable, I don't know why, but we, again, would go there all the time, really fun. Little half cab heel body burial is what I call it. Tried to do a power slide to revert, didn't really look like that. Those are the Staples Center manual pads. Another, There were so many good spots everywhere. Living in downtown LA was crazy. There's just so many. I mean, look in the background of that front side flip. There, that little nose manual to fakey. Just crazy banks, spots everywhere. This, oh, little no comply front side flip, flipped off the thigh. Power sliding under a bridge. Probably a bunch of scary people over there. Skating in a rock. Yeah, a little three flip in on a 8, that looked like an 808 skate, skateboard. I think I was skating. Front board kick flip on a ledge, pretty gross, but uh, a lot of these tricks are. Fakey cancel flip. Switch push, pretending I know how to switch push away. Pushing uphill. Fun trick right there, deck check tray flip out. It's saying to stop, but uh, I don't listen. My tricks are getting worse. Sorry, sign. I will continue to ruin skateboarding. And Brett getting some really nice shots over here. There's me all emotional, feeling, feeling. And then, uh, yeah, this spot was cool. I think this one's, oh, I got the smackdown. I deserve that. And uh, oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling again. Oh, so many emotions as I hopefully don't slam here. Yeah, get a weird, awkward landing out of that nolly flip. Rocket kick flip, some mini power slide reverts, power sliding through some lights. There's downtown LA. That spot is amazing. Pretty fast kick out, so we just got a couple of tricks there before we got kicked out. Going by some signs, some nice lighting over there. Spinning around, let her rip. Smack the wall. Yeah, a little one foot nose you're on. I didn't really do it that well, but you know, whatever. And uh, yeah, a little hand me down or hand trick, whatever you want to call that thing. Jaquan Plaza, super fun spot. I mean, you probably know what that is if you're into skating. Little water fountain, little artistic water cube in the middle. What does it mean? What is it? It's interpretive. Don't you get it? It's art. Yeah, a little weird pop out, some trains, and me going switch, me being all tired and stinky, uh, me up on a thing, wearing those lakais, and it looks like that's the end. And um, yeah, there's me contemplating every decision I've made and why I'm so emotional, telling my mom to get out of my room. And uh, that's the video. And I also just realized I forgot to point out the billboards in this video when they were happening. I'll put them here right now. There it is. There's another, wow. So that was a fun little trip down memory lane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because again, yeah, I just had a bunch of people asking me to talk about this video. They were kind of confused. Like, how did you get that to happen? So there's the whole story behind it. I know it's not 
much of a story. But yeah, again, really cool project. Love the Deftones. Thank you guys so much for having me be a part of your video. I'll put links in the description below if you want to check out the other project I did, an actual skate park with Brett called Forever My Home. I'll put a link to this music video in the description so you can watch it in all of its glory. And of course, you know, check out the Deftones. They're wonderful humans with wonderful music. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, as always, leave me a comment if there's another video you guys want me to talk about. I'll read every comment lovingly and I would love to talk about what you would like me to talk about. See you later.